was just raining but it seemed like it stopped as soon as it started yeah. all right guys so we're officially in our rental car we just exchanged some moolah so we got our colognes colognes is it colognes or colognes, colognes. 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 got the colognes in the bag and it's honestly already such a vibe here i don't know i love it we're, we're still in like the city area yeah. and i can't wait to get out to our airbnb but it's all naturey and beautiful and Costa Rican. He lived there all his life, still lives here, and loves it. And then in front of us was another man who was lived here for like 30 years from Florida. And he, and they were both just talking to us like the whole time. And it was awesome because they made the flight go by way faster. They're just excited for us and telling us all these cool places to go see. And we just got so many tips from them. That is what we needed because I feel even more excited knowing what we know from them. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. What's he He's really hungry. We're both hungry. <laughs> Me and Abel found a soda, which is a local Costa Rican food place. And all of this was literally like $5 each. It was like $11 total. And you get rice, beans, salad, a choice of protein. And what's this? Banana? What is that? Try it. Okay, is it like sweet? Yeah. Fun. This looks amazing. I'm so excited. All right, so we just ate food and now we are going to get groceries at the Walmart here because we need some snacks and stuff before we go to our Airbnb, kind of outside of San Jose, more in the countryside. So I want to take care of that first. First, I need to show you guys our first Airbnb. Air Whoop! Our first Airbnb. It's so pretty. I'm literally. I've never felt so enchanted by a land. Okay, I gotta give you the tour. <laughs> this looks even better than the Airbnb pictures. <laughs> okay, so first of all, look at these beautiful trees. It's a mango tree. There's lemons. There's another fruit over there that I don't know what it is. Tree. There's so many different fruit trees because it's a farm and they make coffee here too. That's our rental car. And then this is our little abode. It's so, so cute. Like, I don't even think you guys understand. And we're up in the mountains, so it's very cool. Like, the air is super cool. We have everything we need here. We got a toaster, we got the microwave, we got the wine glasses and the blender. Hey, you've got the speaker system. <laughs> And then look at this over here. This is just our whole, first of all, this is like, it's like an outdoor living space. It's so beautiful. There's a beautiful gas stove there that you look at call. And then if you guys hear that, just take it in. So down there, you can see there's like a literal bridge over a creek. And he told us that we can actually go walking down there and go on a walk, right babe? Yeah. yeah I'm do Me and Abel are like zombie people as well right now because we've been going for the past like 36 hours straight. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> another thing in Walmart, we got all these interesting fruits and now we're gonna try it. It's... What is it? What does it taste like? Is it colors you never knew existed? <laughs> this mm. looks very like interesting. I'm gonna try it too. Mm. Oh my god, this huge seed. Mm. That is wow, the consistency. That's probably like the chewiest fruit I've ever had. That like, how would you explain that? What is the? It's almost like <sighs> it's it's a it's a flavor I've had before, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It's almost like a pawpaw. It's kind of citrusy too. Yeah, it is. 
it's it's good i need a beer though y'all we just went through a lot all right mama just popped open a beer <laughs> gotta put some of the citrus in it actually for me i already did oh <laughs> shit mm. you like it is it different than other oranges mm -hmm. oh it's the like star fruit is that star fruit i think so <laughs> gringos be like It's like a sour, like a really, really sour apple that's not sweet. Okay. Try that. Just I don't know if I do. Just a little... Right? Very <laughs> apple-y. Whoa. Oh my god, nature. That's crazy. The ultimate slurp sounds. All right, it's time to let her hair down. Let your hair down, babe. Let's get loose. Yeah. All right, Abel said this one is like an earthy plum. Accurate description. Wow. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's like sweet, but it has a certain like taste at the end. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like bitter sour almost mm -hmm. that's also i'm pretty sure that's just a younger version of this dots it's, it kind of reminds me like of a small green pumpkin you know what? it's kind of slimy <laughs> i don't know why oh we also got this liquor okay, so I gotta try this. <laughs> so the costa rican we sat next to on the plane told us that this is a really fast and cheap way to get drunk out here is this type of alcohol we don't even know he said it was kind of a mix between rum and tequila if oh that smells god awful oh god <laughs> you said just to mix a little bit you can't drink it straight oh honestly <laughs> with some coke or like dr pepper that would be really fired heard it from the bartender damn Taste. I will not. Sorry, I got this. Not, good. not bad. Not bad? Oh, well, it was Price cheap. So. Hey, they even have some Dr. Bronner soap over here. I'm all about Dr. Bronner soap. Okay, I need to show you guys our bedroom because this is so beautiful. Like, bruh, these plants, these trees. Oh my god. I keep thinking about Bia and how much she would love, love the plant life here. <laughs> this is a mountain that goes up and up and up and we can actually walk all the way up there and see the whole view of San Jose, the city. Good morning. Got local coffee from Costa Rica going on. And I don't know if it's just like I'm becoming an actual adult or this coffee is actually really good because I don't need anything in it. It's really good. Mm. Can you tell Abel just woke up? This is so beautiful. It's a fresh 6 o'clock a.m. The sun comes up here at 5 a.m. every morning, all, all year round, and it goes down at 6 p.m. all year round, so that's crazy. But, oh my gosh, I'm not mad. This coffee got me pumped. This local coffee on this coffee farm. Living my best life, y'all, I'm for real. I'm actually wearing this little raincoat over my outfit <clears throat> because it's a little, a little chilly out here on these mountains. I can tell it's warming up more and more. So we just left our Airbnb and we're going to find a waterfall. So an hour and 30 minute drive to this one we're trying to get to. So we windy roads are no joke, dude. All right, so we are 
actually we stumbled into this whole park it's not just the waterfalls but it's also like monkeys and birds and it's like kind of like just a whole thing This is so cool. So fresh. Look at the colors on the inside. They love fruit. Guy, big guy, you can get up to seven feet. So pretty. Look at you. Look how pretty you are. But I hope I don't see you in the nature because you always scared the shit out of me. Hola, princesa. How are you today? You don't bite, do you? Well, they're allowed to put their head out, so. Hola, princesa. You're pretty. Hello. Hey guys, it is about 4.30 now and I just got dressed up to go out to dinner. We just got back from the park with the waterfalls and everything and it's a little rainy. It's a rainy afternoon today. Oh, I feel so good after being so sweaty, honestly. I think we're gonna go to this Indian restaurant. I also wanna say me and Abel did not know we were gonna go to a park with animals there. We literally just looked up closest waterfall to us and we saw waterfall gardens and so we were like, yeah, let's map it to there real quick. And then whenever we got there, we were like, we're just here to see the waterfalls. And they said, well, we can't just give you the waterfalls or like a certain part of it. You got like this, you got to pay to see the, you know, go into the whole, whole park. And inside this park, they had animals that were caged up and we went and saw them obviously because they were literally just on the way to the waterfall anyways. But like, we did not, we do not condone giving our money to them. Like, I had to pay to get in, but, like, I just got so sad when we saw those animals, and we were, like, yeah, at home, like, we never go to zoos. I don't go to zoos. I don't support zoos, and when I saw some of those animals being so, in such small air places, like, I hate that, and that should be illegal. Me and Abel felt so bad. This is spontaneous, and we weren't, we didn't know we were gonna go see these animals. So I just want to put that out there. I don't condone that and I wouldn't really condone giving them your money either. I feel bad because I did that and we had to get in. I just want to make that disclaimer, okay? Because ah, that hurt me. So we were eating ceviche at a Peruvian restaurant. The best ceviche I've ever had. I don't think I've ever had- mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever had ceviche. Really? Ever, so I feel like I have nothing to compare it to, but so I do it's really like it. the worst ceviche you ever had. <laughs> guys don't worry it's happy tears i use my shirt to to wipe my tears but i'm literally just crying of happiness because i'm so lucky to be here and i'm so blessed and i can't believe that i'm here it's so pretty i just have this overwhelming wave of like gratefulness come over me and the fact that i paid for myself to be here too like I always wanted to travel the world, but in recent years, I had to tell myself that that's gonna have to be a long time away because I didn't think I could afford it or have time. I was honestly just sitting up here trying to meditate because how beautiful it is. And it was for the first time in years I've actually wanted really, really bad to meditate because I've been struggling with how to do that. And I just, I've never felt like I could easily just meditate. Yeah, I'm just sitting here looking at the mountains <laughs> with my coffee that this family grew here. <laughs> 
I feel like I needed to cry though because I just, I want to have my whole, you know, I don't want this trip to go by with me feeling any bit of aloof or distant to where I am. Like I want to fully be present here and in love with where I am and do all the things. And because sometimes you take trips and you feel like you're not really mentally there. Like you're there, but you're not mentally there, you know? To stress about how things are going or, you know, plans or whatever. But I just, thank you universe, thank you God. <laughs> and yesterday me and Abel went through the worst experience. <laughs>